Hi everyone, today we're looking at the teacher's most favorite tool, the whiteboard. This is Anthony and together with Big Blue Button, let's go! Let's start by saying that as the teacher you have complete control over what the participants can do with a whiteboard. From letting students use it, to drawing their attention to different slides and areas of the whiteboard. Now let's start by looking at the different slides. You can change them by either clicking on the drop-down menu or clicking the arrows on both sides. As you can see here, slides 1 to 9 are your standard whiteboard slides. Moving on to slides 10 and 11, you can see that it looks like graph paper which can be really useful for maths. Slide 12 is a line paper which for example can be used with young learners. Finally, slides 13 to 15 show a different number of boxes, which you can use when students are working in groups. Now, let's move on to the annotating tools on the right-hand side. The first tool that we're going to see is a text box. To make it easier to organize your board, we've created a drag-and-drop feature, which means that you can select the area that you would like to type in. As you can see, I can make this area larger or smaller. Let's type something. For example, hello, everyone. Now, going back to the toolbar on the right-hand side, you'll see there are two extra options here. The first one is to change the font size to bigger or smaller. And the next one is to change the color of the text. Let's go on and click black. Moving on to the next one, you can see that we can select from a variety of different shapes, like a line, an ellipse, a triangle, and a rectangle. Choose the one that you would like to show to your students. At this point, it's important to highlight a key shortcut of the whiteboard. That is, to use the pan tool by clicking and keeping the spacebar. As you can see, my tool has changed into the pan tool, which lets me do two different things. First, by scrolling in and out using the thumb wheel on your mouse, you can zoom in and out on different areas of the whiteboard. Also, by moving around, I can focus into the areas that I would like the students to see at each moment. To zoom out, scroll out and you will see that you can see the full screen again. Going back to the annotating tools, you can see that our next one is the pencil, which can be very useful if you're using a stylus. As you can see here, while I'm typing, it softens up the edges of my writing to make it look better. Now, at this point, we need to highlight that if you are using a stylus, you can't use the pan tool automatically by pressing the spacebar, You'll have to do this manually by going to the bottom right corner of the whiteboard by either clicking the zoom in button or the zoom out. If you would also like to move around while using a stylus, you can go back to the annotating toolbar, choose the pan tool and simply click and drag to the area that you would like to show to your students. The next two options that we're going to see is the undo button that lets you remove the last made annotation and the rubbish bin that removes all annotations. Before we finish this video, there is a feature that those of you who use a tablet will find very interesting, and this is the palm rejection, which lets you rest your palm on the tablet while active. So that's all, you're now a big blue button whiteboard pro. Thank you very much for watching our Big Blue Button Whiteboard video. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure to like it. And if you would like to see more of these, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.